Former President Donald Trump appeared in Wisconsin on Saturday for a rally that's intended to focus heavily on the economy, marking his first trip to the deep red, largely rural part of the key battleground state. The rally was briefly disrupted after an attendee fainted. A crowd formed around emergency medical personnel as they treated the person. Afterwards, Trump continued to hurl insults at political opponents Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, as their debate on September 10 gets closer. Trump said, you know, if I destroy her in the debate, they'll say, Trump suffered a humiliating defeat tonight, no matter what. Both Harris and Trump have been frequent visitors to Wisconsin this year, a state where four of the past six presidential elections have been decided by less than a percentage point. Several polls of Wisconsin voters conducted after President Joe Biden withdrew showed Harris and Trump in a close race. Can you imagine President Xi? Thank goodness he was in a good mood. He's listening that we have no ammunition. Do you think he likes that sound? That's a beautiful sound to him. I said, why would you say it? Okay, medic, please. Doctor, thank you. Thank you very much. Take your time. Thank you, doctor. We get the greatest service here. It's amazing the way they they just are right on it. Amazing. And some people are out here for three days. Three days. So it's, it's really incredible that things like this don't happen more often, actually. But, you know, it's not the biggest number when you're talking trillions all the time, but it's indicative of stupidity. And she's worse than him. He is a smarter person than she is. Oh, they're waiting for the debate. You know, if I destroy her in the debate, they'll say, Trump suffered a humiliating defeat tonight, no matter what. Although they did, you know, with Biden, one of the CNN people said that about my part, they said, the Donald Trump performance tonight was the single greatest debate performance I've ever seen. Two days later, two days later, all they did is talk about how bad he was. They didn't talk about me. They didn't talk about me anymore. Other countries that make us pay a heavy tax to do business with them will be charged the same tax when they send their product into the United States. And we did it to a pretty strong extent when I was president, and we were going all the way that we had to solve the COVID problem. But we will, uh, we will be doing that. It will be called the Reciprocal Trade Act. It's reciprocal. So if China or any other country charges us a 100 or 200 percent tariff or tax, then we will likewise charge them a 100 or 200 percent tariff or tax in return. And my message is simple. Make your product here in America and only in America. So we're going to charge tariffs to all these foreign countries that are coming in and ripping us off and taking our jobs and destroying our manufacturing.